Hey everyone, welcome back. So I started by applying Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin to this sexy librarian inspired makeup look and I'm applying this from the base of the lashes and working it upwards towards the brow line. Now I'm just using a concealer brush. This is the SS194 from Sigma. And Sin is a champagne color that gives a beautiful high shimmer finish. Next, I'm using Next to Nothing, and this is an eyeshadow from MAC, and I'm applying this using my 217 brush, covering once again her whole lid from the base of the lashes, working it upwards towards the brow bone. Next, I'm using MAC's Night Divine eyeshadow, and once again with my 217 brush, and I'm applying this to the end corner, and then blending it inwards along her crease line. And then using Carbon from MAC, which is a black eyeshadow, and my 239 brush, I'm just applying this to the deeper crease as well as a little bit on the end corner. And then switching back to my 217 brush, I'm just going to blend and smooth that out so that it transitions gradually to the Night Divine color. And then using Next to Nothing eyeshadow, I'm just going to clean up the main lid. Then using Eve Pearl's Black Pearl Liquid Liner Pen, I'm lining the top liner. Making sure that I'm not closing it in, but giving it a little bit of a lift towards the end. And then using MAC Carbon and my 214 brush, I'm just going to smooth and smudge the liner a little bit. Then I applied some false eyelashes for added drama and I used Duo Surgical Adhesive Lash Glue and I applied this as close to the real lashes as possible. Then just using my fingers, I'm curling the hairs upwards. Then using the handle of a small brush, I'm just going to press the band in so that it secures and adheres nicely to the skin. For her sexy eyebrows, I've chosen to use MAC Rondelle eyeshadow and I'm applying it with my 208 flat angled brush. Now instead of doing that pointed, striking brow look, I have chosen to do a more rounded eyebrow look. And then just filling that in using check marks so that way it looks more natural than that lined look. And then using next to nothing eyeshadow and again my flat brush, I'm just going to clean off the brow bone. And then using the liquid liner pen once again, I'm just going to extend the liner out and then give it a little bit of a lift towards the end. And then using Max Night Divine eyeshadow and my 211 pencil brush, I'm just going to apply this right below the natural lash line, the lower lash line, and I'm going to smoke and smudge this out. And then using E. Pearl's Pencil Eyeliner in Blackie, I'm going to apply this right onto the lash line. And I'm just going to take this halfway in so that way I don't close in her eye. And then using my 211 pencil, once again I'm just going to blend and smooth out the sharp edges and making sure that the pencil and the eyeshadow color blends nicely. For her foundation, I'm using Eve Pearl's High Definition Dual Foundation in Light, and I'm applying this with my foundation brush. And for that added dimension, I'm using the darker of the duo and placing that right into her forehead, right underneath her cheekbones and her jawline. And the remainder of her face, I pretty much used the light color, and I just applied it where it's needed. Now using a sponge, and this is... Uh, a damp sponge, I'm just going to blend and smooth that out, making sure I'm only applying very little pressure so that way it doesn't disturb the foundation and that the foundation will blend and smooth out nicely. Using a damp sponge is really the key to blending cream foundations because it's not going to absorb a lot of the product. And then, using my brush and a little bit of foundation, whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to spot apply this where it's needed. 
Now using Magic Salmon Concealer in Medium with my concealer brush, I'm just going to apply this right into her under eye area and then blending that and smoothing it with the wet sponge. Then I set her foundation with some loose powder by patting it on first to make sure I don't disturb the foundation. And this is Clinique's Red Solutions Powder and I'm using my Sigma SS 150 brush and then I'm dusting off the excess powder. Now for her cheeks, I'm using Max Sun Bask Blush and I'm using the Sigma SS 168 brush and I'm just contouring a little bit right underneath the cheekbone using this color. And then using MAC Shy Angel Blush, I'm applying this right the apple of the cheeks and blending it upwards towards the hairline. Now for her lips, I've chosen to use E Pearl's Lip Pencil and Cosmo and I'm just defining her lower lip. And then for her upper lip, I'm going to create a little bit more of a heart shape, focusing a little bit on the uh, Cupid's bill. I'm just rounding off the peaks a little bit. And then I'm just going to fill that and bring that towards the uh, center of the pout. So that way it fills in their cracks and crevices. And this is going to assure me that the uh, lip gloss is going to last longer later. For her main lip color, I'm using Max Cutester. And this is from the Hello Kitty collection. And I'm using a lip brush to apply that. And then I'm going to switch to the MAC 2N, which is from the N collection. And I'm applying this right in the center of the pout. And then just blending that a little bit outwards. And this is going to create that beautiful, sexy pout. And then for a nice golden finish, I'm applying Eve Pearl's Moonlight Kiss Lip Gloss. And I apply this starting from the center of the pout and then blending that outwards. And then using my pencil brush, I'm just going to make sure that the colors blend. And I'm bringing in the lip liner color as well, so that way it transitions nicely right into the remaining parts of her lip. And then using a little bit of a concealer in my concealer brush, I'm just going to apply this right above her natural lip line to give her lips a little bit more dimension and to give it that nice, beautiful, plump look. And then once again, using a damp sponge, I'm just going to make sure to soften that concealer line and blend it towards the rest of her skin so that it doesn't look like there's a uh, strong, sharp line in there. And just make sure to soften that. And this is going to definitely help her lips kind of stand out more because it's going to give it a little bit more dimension. there you go and that's her sexy librarian inspired makeup look and if you have not seen the updo hair that we did for this look please do watch that and once again thanks for joining us bye